Hey guys, good morning. It is Thursday. Yes, it is. It's about 10.30 in the morning and I got an update on the car, two things. First thing is that yesterday the car was ready to be picked up. It was repaired. Um, the pipe was replaced and apparently it's gonna run me 175 bucks at the other mechanic. I called in the late in the afternoon because I was under the impression that you know, I didn't know what was going on. So T says, oh no, call him, find out what's going on. I said, oh, okay. So I did call and he's like, yeah, it's ready and, and whatnot. And he said, all right. So I didn't make it in time. I told him I'll pick it up today. The second thing is yesterday I checked my email and there was an email from the insurance company saying that the claim was validated. So that means that the, they called the lady and they validated that the accident did occur and she was responsible for it. And I can move on with my life and finally get my money. I'm also going to find out and ask the mechanic, is it possible that by her hitting my door the way it did, could it have made the muffler, um, you know, shifted the frame, shifted the pipe? You know, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? So then I could tell if it is a possibility, just, you know, just for, uh, just to find out, you know what I'm saying? It, anything's possible. Cause then we could say, oh yeah, well that wouldn't be an issue separate. Let's find out if it's true. It all depends. They could tell, you know what I mean? So it's Friday and I just came from Rowan T's house. I was over at his house, helping him out on his computer. He needed some things done. So I got them done for him. And now I'm heading home and I'm going to be going to their daughter and, and their son-in-law's house tonight for dinner. They invited me over yesterday, but they've been wanting to get together with me for a while because as I might have mentioned in all the previous vlogs, they want me to watch the dogs. They had asked me to do so. So they wanted me to come over for dinner and get to spend some time with the dogs, get to know them, the house, and see if I'm comfortable watching them. Daughter also mentioned we'll probably watch you over again before we leave see if you know if it's something you really want to do if, you know if you're comfortable i said all right no no not a problem not a problem and so that's what i'm gonna do tonight i uh i am a little worried only because you know they got a puppy and the puppy's big and the other dog they got you've seen him on the channel here it was blackie the black dog that took off and the shock collar didn't work and he ran off in the street and driving me crazy but they got a large property from what i was told so they probably you know it won't be an issue of them running out especially you know it wasn't like at rowan t's house which they're right in the next to the street and they take off so so i'll be meeting them tonight and well i'll get reacquainted with blackie again and see the change so that is what's been going on for today and I'm about, like I said, about to head home. So guys, I just got home. It's about almost nine o'clock. <sighs> Driving home was a nightmare. Really a nightmare from coming from the daughter and, and son of -law's house, really. Because everything was fine. I got to a certain point and when I turned, you know, I drove somewhat. There was a person that was in front of me when I got up to them that was driving 30 miles an hour in a 55. Now, granted, they wore deer out, you know, and there's a lot of deer on that road, but still driving 30 miles an hour in a 55 while you're holding up, there was like 10 cars and God knows what other cars that were behind it. And it was not good. It was not good at all. It was a lot of hitting the brakes, jamming the brake. They were jamming the brakes like crazy. Like every time a car was coming, they'd stop. Like they'd slow. I'm like, what are you doing? You know, and it seems like they didn't know where they were going and they shouldn't be driving at night. But here's the topping on the cake. When they turned down the road here, they turned right into the shoulder and they were driving on the shoulder thinking it was the road. And I had to slow real down, really slow down and let them back in until they realized they were driving on the shoulder, not on the actual road. So it seems like they don't know how to drive at night. They have problems driving at night or they're lost and then and if that's the case you shouldn't be driving point blank you should not be driving because you're going to cause an accident 
and God forbid kill somebody. I'm just saying. So anyway, guys, uh, it went pretty well. I had dinner, Ro cooked dinner. Uh, she got home, the daughter, from work. Um, the grandson was there because she watches my her grandson on a Friday. And I got to see the dogs. Unfortunately, um, they do wear shock collars, both of them. So she had to buy a remote that does both shock collars, like shock collar one, shock collar two. And Blackie jumped up on me. And no, no, no jumping. Jumped up on me. And he remembered me. And of course, he did this to me. Scratched me. So I've been marked. But... The other dog, Frosty, is not that bad. Um, well, she is bad. It's just that they're out of, they're a little, you know, they are a little out of control. But he's not that bad as he was. Like, really, really, really. I petted him. He was happy. And then he, they went back in their cages. So they went over a couple things with me regarding certain things that they do at certain times. They, when the dogs, un, really, like the last time they have to, they can go out because they are other animals not just them that's around the property they need to watch because they got like coyotes and stuff which is a threat and we don't want to you know have those problems with the dogs and god forbid you know so so a certain time they don't let them out like again not like i said like nine o'clock is the time that they don't let them out he's gonna go over with me again and i said yeah let's have dinner again and i'll come over and we'll go through the the list or whatever you know we need to go over so I remember, you know, I mean, because it's going to be like towards the ending of the month and stuff like that. So it's pretty much, uh, you know, self-explanatory. But just to go over things that maybe they want from me that I need to remember and whatnot. So, you know, that's what's going on with that. So, like I said, I'm home now and I'm just like wheeling from... To, just to, like, question, like, that person, like, how do you drive like that? That's sad. Really sad. <laughs>